Once upon a time, in a quaint village nestled amid lush green hills, there lived a young man named Kenta. He was a thoughtful and introspective soul, always seeking happiness in the external world. Every day, he would venture out on a journey, hoping to find something that would bring him true joy. Kenta explored far and wide, seeking happiness in material possessions, status, and the approval of others. He acquired a grand house filled with lavish furniture, fancy clothes, and expensive gadgets. He climbed the social ladder, gaining admiration from his peers, but despite all this, he still felt a void within himself. True happiness seemed to elude him. One day, as Kenta was wandering through a dense forest, he came across a wise old monk sitting peacefully beneath a majestic oak tree. The monk had an aura of serenity surrounding him, and Kenta was immediately drawn to his presence. Curious, Kenta approached the monk and asked, Sir, can you tell me the secret to finding happiness in this world? The monk smiled warmly and motioned for Kenta to sit beside him. Happiness, my young friend, is not something you find outside of yourself, he said gently. It resides within your own heart. The more you search for it in the external world, the farther it seems. But how do I find happiness within myself? Kenta asked, feeling intrigued. The monk reached into his simple robes and pulled out a small, smooth stone. Take this stone and carry it with you for a week, the monk said. But remember, you must not be attached to it or let it become a source of discontent. Confused yet eager to learn, Kenta agreed to the monk's request and took the stone with him. Over the next few days, Kenta examined the stone intently, hoping to discover its hidden secret. However, no matter how hard he tried, he couldn't find anything extraordinary about the stone. Finally, after a week, Kenta returned to the monk with the stone in hand. I have carried the stone as you asked, but I don't understand its purpose, he admitted. The monk smiled. You see, my young friend, this stone is a symbol of the present moment. Like the stone, happiness is often overlooked because people are always searching for something more, something different, or something better. Just as the stone is ordinary on the surface, happiness may seem ordinary when you first glimpse it within yourself. Kenta's eyes widened with realization. So, you mean to say that true happiness is found in appreciating the present moment and being content with what I have? Exactly, the monk replied. When you stop searching for happiness outside yourself and start appreciating the simple joys of life, you will find happiness naturally blooming within your heart. It's not about the grand possessions or the admiration of others. It's about being at peace with who you are and finding joy in the little things. From that day on, Kenta changed his perspective on life. He began to find happiness in the beauty of nature, the laughter of children, and the warmth of friendships. He embraced each moment, whether happy or sad, and learned to be grateful for the experiences that shaped him. As the years passed, Kenta became known as the happiest man in the village. People would often seek his counsel on finding happiness, and he would share the monk's wisdom with them. And so, the once restless and discontented young man transformed into a beacon of happiness and contentment. He had learned the invaluable lesson that true happiness could only be found within oneself, and it was simpler than he had ever imagined. The secret of happiness lay not in seeking but in accepting and appreciating the beauty of life as it unfolded, one precious moment at a time.